is just fantastic. Captain Zog, subdates 210323.2. The probe has entered the anus, and we keenly await telemetry data and a visual of the tunnel. If it's too tight, we may use a pod to send the <coughs> cargo to Morskar. Many television shows over a number of years have been hit with claims of whitewashing, racism, cancel culture, and other woke-related complaints. Examples would include Iron Fist, because they cast a white man to play Danny Ran, which is strange, but that doesn't matter for now, or The Ancient, in another Marvel-related feature, where they cast Tilda Swinton, one of the biggest shows, arguably, that was hit by whitewashing claims was The Simpsons, which, I'll be honest, I hadn't even realised was still on TV. We're talking about a show that's been on air for 32 years. Congratulations. There's longevity, and then there's that. I'm somewhat surprised that at no point has Bart Simpson actually grown up. By the way, no one complained that a female was voicing Bart, just for the sake of it. I thought I'd insert that, because I think everyone knows that's Nancy Cartwright. The reason The Simpsons was hit because of certain, let's face it, dated stereotypes, which, I'll be honest, much have been phased out over the years of its existence. Instead, the complaint was the voice actors of certain characters. So, for example, and yes, this is entirely me being a dick, as the vast majority of characters in The Simpsons are yellow, you'd think they'd only cast yellow voice actors. But it turns out, La La wasn't available to do all, and Nancy Cartwright wasn't willing to share the stage with a Teletubby, which I've just realised, as a name, isn't that by current year standards fat shaming? The character that started this, let's say, furore, which has bled out over years, is the character Apu. There was a documentary released in 2017 called The Problem with Apu. This same documentary in 2020 led to Hank Azaria, who voiced Apu, no longer applying his skills to the voice work of Apu, aka just retiring, but I couldn't think of a better way of framing it. At the time, I was a tad curious, because I was aware of other voice actors who themselves are white, who were lending their voices to characters who are not. The more notable that I could think of, because of shows I watched, was Mike Henry, whose two biggest characters, arguably, are Cleveland Brown and Consuela, which I didn't know about until this morning, which amused me to no end. But, it turns out, before Hank Azaria had actually stepped down from performing as Apu, Mike Henry had actually tweeted out that he was going to do so as well, saying that a person of colour should play characters of colour, and there I was thinking after four successful seasons of Cleveland Brown Show, and 18 seasons of producing, writing, and voice work for Family Guy, perhaps you just made your money, and were merely trying to mitigate any backlash. Do I think certain characters should be performed by certain races of people? This is an important question. My answer is no. If you can do a good accent and a good voice, it's an accent and a voice. We're not asking them to don black or brown face. They are a performer. Also, when it comes to characters like Cleveland Brown and Apu, they're bit parts. They barely feature. At some point, you then have to take Family Guy and give Cleveland Brown a bigger stint, which wouldn't work out. It didn't on The Cleveland Show. I mentioned successful earlier for four seasons. The ratings plummeted, okay? And with Apu, He's had one or two episodes every so often, but over the last seven years, he's barely featured. Less so now because they haven't found a voice actor to replace him, which, if anything, has given the show a little relevance, but it doesn't exactly turn around and give them more views and better ratings. That's not to say their ratings aren't good, but after 32 years, you do have to do something to stay fresh. So since Hank Azaria has walked away, Apu has not been seen and other non-yellow characters have been recast with suitably skinned voice actors. 
Again, though, because it is a dated, silly cartoon show, something Matt Groening himself recognises, the characters are yellow. I think they need their representation. So can we instead please cast a plethora of voice actors that suffer from jaundice, as it is the only way to ensure fair representation in silly cartoon shows. In an interview for USA Today, Matt Groening admitted that he is still proud of the character Apu, but he will remain absent until a suitable new actor is found, being quoted as saying, We've got plans for Apu, but we have to see if we can make the stories work. We're working on something kind of ambitious. That's all I can say. I find it really strange you'd want to do something ambitious with a character that barely features anyway. But if your intention is to expand The Simpsons show to make other characters that had lesser roles for many years have a more prominent role, that's a good idea. Family Guy did it when they had a spin-off, and it does help keep shows fresh. To not rely on the main four to five characters, which can be applied to Family Guy, American Dad, Cleveland Show, The Simpsons, and shows like South Park. He also went on to describe Apu as one of the most nuanced characters on a silly two-dimensional cartoon show, hence my earlier references. He also did not come up with the idea of replacing the white voice actors with non-white actors for respective raced characters. Being quoted as saying, who can be against diversity? So it's great. However, I will just say that the actors were not hired to play specific characters. They were hired to do whatever characters we thought of. To me, the amazing thing is seeing all our brilliant actors who can do multiple voices. That's part of the fun of animation. However, to be more inclusive and hire more people, I'm completely in favour of that. Another reason why I'm sure would be because having less voices for certain people who have been on the show for so long, therefore having such a high salary, would see their salaries go down, and by extension the newer people getting paid at a lesser rate for being newer voice actors on an established show. One does not simply walk into a new show and get paid the exact same as someone who's been on the show for 32 years. I know things like that do happen, for example with the BBC, but thankfully, those respective parties who were paid a lot and then were forced to take pay cuts left because they were being treated like chumps. In a separate interview, Matt Groening said to BBC Radio 1's Newsbeat, Times change, but I actually didn't have a problem with the way we were doing it. All of our actors play dozens of characters, it was never designed to exclude anyone. Something which most people would not understand. All they see is white person playing person of colour, therefore that person doing that voice is racist, when that's not the case. But it is a rather handy scapegoat and way of cancelling somebody, although I'm sure that's not how you cancel, I guess, but the definition has been broadened over the past two to three years. I've written on my notes here two last points, although I think I've already referenced one, but I'm going to say them anyway. The first is, this has given the show some relevance, but will it yield an uptick in ratings? Typically with anything that goes, let's call it woke, the answer is no. In this context, to maintain ratings at a show's age like The Simpsons, they do need to expand. They need to adapt. The second, the old episodes still exist. Getting rid of an actor from future episodes does not change the fact that the old episodes still exist. Do you plan on editing those now? Because by doing so, you would have to then erase Dr. Hibbert, erase Carl Carlson, erase Apu. You would have to erase them because they are all voiced by white people for over 30 years. So does it solve a problem that you might see? No. Others can say, ah oh, yes, but we're proud of these episodes. But you're using the logic of those that are more progressive. The past exists and it must be erased so we totally never make that same mistake again. I'm hoping that people get my point on that one. I haven't embellished on it in my notes and I do apologise. As we're done, I'd like to know what you all think, so please do let me know in the comments down below. As a final thing, I'm going to be on Twitch tonight. If I don't see you there, have a fantastic Wednesday. 
Thank you all very much for listening. Oh, and to Tipster, congratulations on hitting 100,000 subscribers.